Hey y'all, as you can see, I'm not in the room where I filmed my first vlog because I'm back at my apartment from Christmas break. So a few things before we get started on our vlog this week. I will try to do vlogs every week or so, hopefully more, but we'll see how that goes because I have a very busy schedule with 14 credits this semester and possibly doing a play. So we'll see how that goes with our vlogging. I will try to do DIYs. I probably won't be doing any makeup or hair tutorials because I'm not not that big on being a girl, usually, with makeup and hair. Uh, but I do have a second page that I'm in developing, or is being developed, called The Nerdy Baker, and that is where I will be doing just, you know, regular cakes and cookies and cupcakes and whatnot. And if it gains enough interest, I'll start asking for requests of what I should do. Sometimes I'll try to make them nerdy, but for the most part, they'll just be yummy, yummy, delicious baked goods. Okay, so moving on to what this vlog is going to be about. Since it's the new year, I figured I would do one about resolutions. Every year, people make resolutions. Oh, I want to stop smoking. I want to stop drinking. I want to go to the gym more, blah, blah, blah. And without a doubt, they usually don't accomplish said resolutions, me included. But then I found this website the other day. I don't know how legitimate it is, but I thought it was entertaining and I thought I'd share it. It's realistic New Year's resolutions. Uh, the first one is forget past mistakes and press on to greater mistakes. Stop being afraid of what... You of what could go wrong and just focus on the butts. Maybe gain five pounds. That I would love to try to do, actually do because I'm kind of tiny. I would love to gain five pounds. Uh, don't waste time learning. That one I think is kind of ridiculous because as someone who's taken an education course in college, I've learned that you should be a lifetime learner. So I feel like maybe not necessarily wasting time learning in like, yeah, you could probably waste time learning in, like, the classroom as much, but in in the real life sense, don't waste your time learning. Go out there, do something new, learn something new. Uh, the next one is, it's never too late to forget a foreign language you only vaguely learned in high school. So depending on what kind of high school you went to, de and depending on what kind of language they taught in high school, brush up on it. I would hope to brush up on my Spanish, seeing as that's what they taught in high school, but I also learned some Japanese in 2004 and 2000, from the time span 2004 to 2006, because I went to Japan in 2006, and in 2004 I had somebody from Japan come stay with me for the summer during high school. It was pretty awesome. I'll talk more about that in a future blog, maybe. Uh, spend more time doing what really matters. And then in quotes, they have watching Netflix, but I think that means um, just doing stuff that you love, do hobbies, learn something new. Um, of course, you can watch Netflix because that's something that maybe somebody really enjoys doing. Uh, for me, though, it'll probably be a lot more crafting, a lot more vlogging. Spending time doing homework is inevitable as that sounds. I don't... <laughs> Not too big of a fan of that, but what can you do? Uh, moving on. Stop making resolutions. Amen. Just get out there and start eating cheese. Okay. I do like cheese, though, so... That makes sense. See the world with the magic of the internet. Pretty much just Google different things. And I think what I would do with this one is I would make a cork board. I'd get a cork board and then I'd put the different countries on it and then color code them maybe put have one of the have a section with all of the 50 states and then put certain pins in states that have only passed through states that have actually been in and stayed for more than like for X amount of hours and then do a different kind of tack for whatever kind of state I want to see but then I would also do that with the country or with the world, and same principle, 
if I've been to that country, I'd put a certain color tack. If I want to go to that country, I'll put a different colored tack and then kind of make that as a resolution board. Not for like a year span, because I know that I don't have the money or the time <laughs> to go see the world. But I would in one year. But it would pretty much be a resolution of, I want to go to these countries before I die. Before I get old and can't do it anymore. Take every disappointment a reason to, or I think that's supposed to say make every disappointment a reason to give up. Oh no, it says take every disappointment as a reason to give up. Um, no, I think taking every disappointment as a reason to not give up would be a better, better way to say that. Take your disappointments and your failures and spin it around to make it be like, oh, just because I didn't do this right the first time doesn't mean I can't try it again and maybe, you know, succeed next time. Don't spend too much time wearing pants. I'm already doing that because I'm wearing a dress and leggings, but whatever. Gotta look pretty sometimes, even if you're just in your apartment by yourself. Woohoo! Uh, and if I really had the choice, I probably wouldn't wear shoes either, but, mm, who knows. Hold someone's hand at sunset. Mm. Maybe if you're actually with someone, you could do that, but I'm single. Hopefully I will get a boyfriend this year. God hoping and willing, because there's a guy I'm crushing on, but he's kind of, you know, Captain America, so. That's probably not going to happen. But a girl can dream. Hence the whole nerdy baker thing. Read more books. I don't like how that actually goes. It says, read more takeout menus, and they crossed out books. But I'm going to go with take more book or read more books, and not take out menus. I think if you're going to make a resolution this summer, or this year, to eat, food, obviously, and gain the five pounds. You might as well do it the right way and make your own darn food. Cook your own food, people, even if it is boxed macaroni and cheese. And it'll save you money in the long run. Take a walk every day, or at least briefly consider it. Yeah, with the way the Michigan weather's been recently, yeah, I'd, I would definitely consider taking walks. But... <laughs> There's always other options for us people who live in the tundra right now. Go to the gym. Walk on a treadmill. Like, next week when school starts up for me, I will be walking to all of my classes with probably a 15 to 20 pound backpack on my back. And carrying around my big old 17 inch computer, so there's that. Next one. Something something saving money. Yeah, like I said, with the takeout menus, cook more of your own food, and you'll save money. That's one thing that I'm going to try to do this semester, and from now on, is saving more of my money and not spending as much of it as I do. I will be buying crafting supplies and stuff, and that will probably eat up a great budget, or a great amount of money that I, ha that I get, but it doesn't mean I'm going to go out and buy frivolous things that I don't need. So, there. Move it on. This year I will live up to my potential both professionally and, hey, look, a shiny object. <sighs> I think, except for that last little sentence there, you should start looking at your potential. You might discover a hidden talent that you didn't know that you had. Like with me, I like doing art and different type things like that, and I already know my professional and my potential and stuff. Do I need to work on them? Oh heck yeah, so that's what I'll be doing too. Don't let anything get in the way of it eating an entire pint of ice cream in one sitting. This is also true, especially if you're going with the whole um, gaining five pounds thing. I feel like that would be a splendid thing to try to do. 
And that's the end of the list. So I think I will do in a quick little about me since I don't want to have to make a separate video for that right now. Uh, my name is Kathy, obviously, as it says on my Facebook. I'm into things like Captain America and Green Arrow. Those are my two favorite superheroes at the moment. Iron Man is a close second for Marvel and Batman is a close second for DC, so take that, Spider-Man. No, I like Spider-Man too, but he's just not my favorite. Um, I'm only five foot one. I have brown hair and brown eyes, obviously. I wear glasses, another duh. Um, something not many people would probably know about me, just by looking at me right now, is that I have a twin sister. And I just helped her get her, helped her get a website, hopefully up and running. I don't know if she's published it yet, but we were working on that today. We each made our own and we both compared them and mine looked more professional. So she's probably going to go with that one. So yay for me on that. I'm hoping to graduate community college this year and continue on eventually to get my teaching degree. Uh, my secret passions would be I'd love to be a Hollywood actor and meet my superhero crush of Captain America. Even if it's not as like for dating, it just, I just want to meet him and be like, you're probably my favorite super, like you play one of my favorite superheroes right now. Uh, what else? I have an adorable little 12 year old dog at my mom's house. Her name is Juliet. I love her to bits. Um, I've been out of the country. I will do a full vlog about that. But I've been to the country I went to was Japan, hence the reason I said I learned Japanese in 2004 and 2006, so I could, so I could do that. And then uh, I've made, I just recently made my own mannequin, you know, how they usually sell mannequins at, at stores for like a couple hundred bucks. Well, maybe when I get a partner that hasn't already done a man, a mannequin, I can, um, show you how to make one for cheap, or I'll probably write down a list of DIYs I plan on doing and then writing down supplies and stuff that I need. Um, I was born and raised in in Michigan in the Upper Peninsula. If you don't know where that is, that's up here, the part that's forgotten. Not the mitten, but the other part. Pretty much we're connected to Wisconsin and they wonder why we're not part of Wisconsin. I don't know either. I've worked at Disney World this time about this time last year I was getting ready to go to Disney and I kind of wish I was back there because it's really cold here another fun fact I will be reapplying for Disney come February for the fall, fall program so I will be an alumni but I will also be an alumni of my college by then hopefully if not maybe I'll have to take an online course and finish up whatever I need to finish, but hopefully I can get my math courses switched around because that's an issue right now. They're trying to tell me one thing and I'm trying to be like, well, I signed my major back in blah, blah, blah year. And when I signed that year, they said I didn't, you, I didn't need to take the class that they, that they're telling me that I need to take. Okay, another fun fact about me is my favorite color is purple, so if I do some DIYs, a lot of it will probably be purple-based. Just saying. Right now. Um, my favorite musical that has ever been on Broadway is Rent, and I'm disappointed that it's not on Broadway anymore. But in the recent years, I like First Date the Musical, I like the first five years, because... One of the characters' names is Kathy, or Catherine, I'm not entirely sure. One of the two, but my full name, my proper name is Catherine, so either way, it works. Uh, Spring Awakening, I like Next to Normal, I like Wicked, which I can do a vlog about those respective musicals. For Disney films, my favorite Disney princesses are 
Belle, Merida, Ariel, Milan, and then Anna and Elsa are probably my top five right now. If that was five. Whatever. They're my top favorite princesses at the moment. My top favorite prince is probably Eugene. And then probably Shang. And then... Oh, I think it's Kristoff? The guy that's voiced by Jonathan Groth in the movie Frozen? Yeah, I think that's his name. And then old school princes, I like Aurora's prince because he dresses pretty nice for a guy in tights. Um, I think that's about it that I can blabber on about. <sighs> yep, I think that's it. Ciao, lovelies. Talk to you soon. TTYL.